some of our other friends who were arrested will also speak today. Uh, so uh, please come closer, we'll start the program. I'd like to call Zuhail to uh, come and speak about the administration block that happened today. Uh, today we saw in the administrative block uh, some ABBP students as well along with the non-teaching staff as expected. And we saw how in social media they were, it was circulated that uh, only some 20 people have gone and blocked the administration. So this is a propaganda that our university is uh, trying to do with the new, uh, newly uh, instated uh, university official spokesperson, Professor Vipin Shrivastha, who is implicated in the murder of Rohit and Senthil Kumar, uh, saying that only one section of students are trying to create problem in the uh, university. So, I'll call Zuhel uh, to come and speak a little more about what happened today. After that, we'll have our uh, 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 other students who were arrested uh, to share their experience. So, please come forward and we'll start. Hey, uh, friends. Uh, today, as a decision by the Joint National Committee, we decided to block the administrative building. And one thing was very clear for us. We, or our point, is not against the you know, teaching staff, or against any of the students, or against any of the faculties. Our fight is for the Rohit, and a person who came back when this campus get into a complete normalcy, and we were enjoying our academics like anything, and we were even reaching to the time of the exams. And he came back to ruin all this academic atmosphere and tried to make confrontation in between the students and faculties, students and students, and the students and no teaching staff even. So he himself proved that how bad administrator he is. And we, the students of this campus, clearly said that we do not want a BC who, can, who cannot run this university. Only his possibility for him is to ruin this university. And we continued our struggle. And today, as we expected, uh, administration tried to enter inside the campus with the help of the security staff. And at that time also we said, we didn't get the justice. And if you want to throw out, you do it. And or else work through, the, through our body to go and do your work. And it was a it was it was a direct attack from the security staff on the protesting students. But even though we continued to our stand is very clear and is we stands on the side of the justice. So there won't be any kind of the shaking in the minds. And we very clearly said that. No confrontations, no arguments. In a very peaceful, democratic way, the protest was to continue. And we could be able to continue our struggle for today. And at 2 o'clock, Professor Yogendra Yadav reached the campus. And along with that, some of the activists from the Swaraj Abhiyan, and of course, our jail gates were closer in front of them. And at the present, we are not surprised on that. Because that's what we are expected. And if something is happening, what we are expected, then again we are surprised on that. Then it shows, it shows that we, are, we have something like, oh, what I can say, illusion or something. So we don't have that. We are practically, practically uh, aware students. And they blocked the main gate, and we went to them, and we uh, they addressed the gathering, and they extended their complete support, and they very clearly said that this protest is not confined inside the SU walls, and all over the country, all over the campuses, we are discussing about the University of Hyderabad and our struggle, and we thank each and every one who were thinking on behalf of the University of Hyderabad students 
and extending their solidarity for our, our movement and our cause. And after that, we had a meeting to discuss about the future plan of action. And the, with, the, with the help of some of our faculties, the registrar came for a discussion. At the morning itself, I said, we are open for the discussion with the registrar. Because by putting out, putting out our demands to the registrar, to the registrar very clearly, that he is the person who given the complaint against nine students of this campus. And we would like to know what is the reason for this narrowing into the nine members. That is nothing other than targeting the students. And he demanded to immediate withdrawal of that case. And also he is a person who denied the access for our parents, our uh, the people, the doctors who came here to check one of our friend Uday Banu, and the lawyers, human rights activists. And yesterday when Tisha Sabrivath and three MPs, which include MP, MP Rajesh, A. Sambath, and P.K. Piju, were sitting outside the gate and protesting against that. What kind of the shame is this? Even if it is a dictator's law, there will be some space open for the discussion and debates. But our administration has high fear on the discussions and they were denying it into, a, into the maximum limit. And as an example, the appeal, video appeal which our VC given, in that he restricted the comments. And I'm not understanding what kind of a what kind of a logic is this? How far you can continue, or how far you can uh, ensure that your words are heard by others, and other people's words will be completely distracted. And a according to our understanding, a campus, a university, is that is a place, is a democratic place where a lot of discussions and debates ha has to happen. And as one of the article came, they were cl clearly saying that university students are teaching us democracy. And we are proud of ourselves because we are the people at this Sanghi government, we could able to stand and speak on the idea of democracy and human rights. And we are we know that we, we heard the, the words which were some of our friends who got arrested were explaining their uh, their like what happened to them at that on that day. And the people who discussed about the democracy or human rights or for each of these words they were getting beaten up. And I didn't get it on my face, but mentally we all the students, the students of the university campus is suffering the same. We were, we were, university administration is trying to isolate to the maximum limit. And our second demand to the university administration registrar is that you should allow the people to come inside. You can take whatever the data which you want to take from them by understanding you are standing here for the security of the students. And also, the dean's committee, dean's meeting, which happened, we are giving some crazy ideas. And I am not understanding from where they, were, they are getting such kind of the ideas. I like, uh, if I am part of any kind of the committee, the first question which I would like to raise is, uh, uh, do you have any, like, you have, I will appeal to the deans that you have to write some uh, books or something, some imaginary books, like, uh, what will happen in a utopian world or like, uh, some somewhere in the third, the, like what I can say, outside in earth and such kind of things. Because that much imagination. And they came up with the idea of deploying CAS of inside the campus and also to forcefully removing uh, whatever they are in the shop comb. And also they understood that university campus, a police aid post is compulsory for the HCU campus. And uh, uh, we, we thank the deans for such kind of the wonderful suggestions. Because we have to uh, we have to show some kind of the feeling like sympathy 
to some of the people who will not understand the ideas and the ideologies which we are speaking. And we have friends, which include in the ABVP. And according to me, or most of us, our only feeling towards them is sympathy. Because they are not able to understand what we are saying. And in a, in a movie, somebody, uh, somebody very clearly said that, like, a lack of knowledge is not a punishable offense. So, le so let them enjoy that. Let them enjoy it that. But they should not come and teach us what we want to do. And they should not shout whatever they like on our face. We have our own rights to continue our struggle. So putting these demands, we continued our protest. And in the afternoon, with the help of some of our faculties, Daystar came to us. And we posted the same, same questions to him. Our questions was, if you are the you are the person who is taking care of this campus. Why you are not complaining any case on the police crack crackdown happened on the 22nd of the March? And uh, what kind of the action which you have taken about the arrested students? Where are they? And we, are, we, are, we know that we didn't get any kind of the clarification or for 30 hours. That was the time which we, the students were running from one police station to other. Such kind of the incidents, we may get to know that in some some countries. But in a high, in a large democratic country, in the HCU campus, the students who got arrested, we didn't get any confirmation or where are they and what is their what is where are, like uh, what are the cases which filed on them and all. And we asked that what kind of the intervention university needs to get about information about this part. And, and also, what is the reason for giving a complaint against nine students in particular? He, has, he was not having any proper explanation on that, but that's what he had expected. And also, we, secondly, we asked that, how you can block our parents and lawyers or the human rights activists came here to meet us? And who is the administration taking this decision? And I myself very clearly said that, as an elected students union of University of Hyderabad, we have all right to conduct the seminars or the academic discussion inside the campus. How you can deny our, our right as a students union when you take such kind of an anti-students decision without taking students union members as a part of that, part of that decision making, making system. And he said that this kind of, these things will be uh, informed to the higher authorities and uh, he will get back with the answers. And we are not expecting any, or if we are expecting any kind of the answer, it itself, I don't know what we'll say. So, but, but we are happy that we could able to at least post our demands or the questions directly on his face. And, uh, and I take this opportunity to, to congratulate the students who joined in that protest from the morning onwards for their for their time at this point of time to like by understanding the fact that this is compulsory that this space has to be secured and i and i thank the, some of the faculties who joined with us in that in today's protest and we will continue our struggle and the future course of action will be in for later that's all thank you